This is the Recycling Scrap Metal Commodities and Economic Report, May 13, 2024. U.S. weekly raw steel production rose slightly to 1.71 million tons. It was up 0.5% from last year and down 2.9% versus last year year-to-date on slow U.S. manufacturing. WTI crude oil price rose to 78.20 a barrel, but demand concerns continue because of higher for longer interest rates to slow growth to fight inflation. U.S. weekly crude oil production was steady at 13.1 million barrels per day, just off the recent record high in American history. The U.S. remains the number one oil producer globally and the number two crude oil exporter globally. When crude oil is combined with natural gas, which is LNG, the U.S. is the number one energy producer in the world and the number one energy exporter in the world, more than Saudi Arabia, more than Russia, more than anyone else. We're again the number one oil producer and the number one exporter and exporting at or near record amounts of energy in American history. The U.S. weekly oil rig count fell to 496 on great productivity per well and steady production. Scrap steel number one HMS price fell to about 305 a gross ton on slowing U.S. and global manufacturing. Hot roll coil steel price fell to 3825 a hundredweight, which is 765 a ton on slow U.S. demand. Copper price rose slightly to 465 a pound, the highest in about two years. The Chinese are expected to cut interest rates to boost the economy, and concerns remain, though, about supply shortages of copper. Aluminum price fell to $1.14 a pound, which is 25 24 a metric ton, as supply concerns also remain. U.S. May Real Clear TIPP Economic Optimism Index fell to 41.8, the lowest in five months. Consumers were negative about the six month economic outlook. They're also concerned about government policies, but they're positive about their own personal finances. U.S. weekly initial jobless claims surged to 231,000, the highest in almost a year. This is bad news, but it's good news. The Federal Reserve wants a slow job market. More unemployment means people are willing to work for less, which helps bring slower inflation. U.S. May U of M Consumer Sentiment Survey Index fell to 67.4, the lowest in six months. This was as inflation expectations rose for the six-month and five-year view. Higher unemployment, as we just talked about, and higher interest rates are also concerning. U.S. April average hourly earnings fell to 3.9% increase, but more than the 3.5% inflation. The high 3.9% is great for workers, but bad for inflation. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 840 points to 39,513. High prices remain in the marketplace, while inflation falls very slowly. Good economic growth continues, and 401ks are again at or near record highs. Roll-off box nose rollers and roll-off box ground rollers are for sale at Ben Lee, now in stock for same-day shipment. New lower negotiated shipping rates with UPS are now in place. This report by Greg Brown is brought to you by Ben Lee roll-off trailers, gondola trailers, crush car trailers, luggage trucks, roll-off trailer parts, and of course, roll-off truck parts for Galbraith, American, and roll-off trailer parts for Dragon, and more. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.